the Office of the National Security Advisor and other local and international organizations are holding this technical session on demobilization, deassociation, reintegration and reconciliation to support federal government's policy and action plan for preventing and countering violent extremism. Our key objectives are to strengthen access to justice, rule of law and human rights, engage communities, build resilience and support communities to recover from violence and de-integrate strategic communication in PCVE programming. With many people killed and others displaced, Boko Haram suspects incarcerated as a result of the nine years reign of terror in the Northeast. The task before these experts is to adopt comprehensive approaches towards speedy justice, reintegration and resettlement of Boko Haram victims. We are talking about a crisis of global magnitude from all perspectives. Over 14.5 million people have been affected by this crisis, of which 8.5 million people were in urgent need of humanitarian assistance in 2017. The International Organization for Migration says it is working with Nigeria to reduce people's vulnerability to trafficking and strengthen framework for achieving sustainable reintegration of migrants. Allow me to congratulate to the government of Nigeria on its decision to adopt a complementary soft approach to the effort in preventing and countering terrorism on the basis of principle of whole of government and whole of the society approach. The program is expected to strengthen the implementation of Nigeria's action plan on the Northeast launched by President Muhammadu Buhari in November this year. Ismail Musa, NTA News.